so today me and Pinecone are going to give you guys a little tour of my new filming room. Did you guys hear that? Pinecone went running out of the room. The rest of the condo is not ready for any sort of tour. In fact, it's not even completely unpacked yet. I'm kind of doing it very slowly. But this was the room that I just wanted to do the most. I thought it would be the most fun. Obviously, it's full of the things that I love and it's the room that I'm in the most often because I'm working in here and I'm playing in here. I hope you guys enjoy this little mini tour. I will be doing a more in-depth one when I actually get the rest of it done. It's not completely done yet, as you guys will see, but it's definitely in a good place and it makes me very happy. So I wanted to share it with you All guys. All right, so here she is. This is my little makeup filming room and I've been so excited to show this to you guys because I just think it turned out so adorable and bright and fun and I'm just a little bit in love with this room. So I sit over here in this chair as you guys probably can tell and over here you have my lights. They are octagon umbrella lights and I got them in a set from Sammy's Cameras and the two of them together just makes this room so bright and gives the colors a lot of like vibrancy and it's very true to life. I have my camera on its tripod sitting on the floor right behind the table and then this is the background that you guys see in my videos. So all of my pillows, and I'm not actually sure if I'm going to keep all of these pillows. It seems a little pillow heavy, but I really like them all and I couldn't decide which ones not to use. So I just ended up putting them all on the bed. I think that this bedding is just perfect for this room because this room is not very big. It is quite long, but it is not very wide. It's only eight feet wide, as you can see. And so I wanted to add a lot of color without being overwhelming or having too much stuff in the room. The bed itself is from Ikea. This is their Hymns Day Bed in the cream color. And it's nice because it actually takes up the space of a twin bed, but it pulls out into a king size bed and it has storage, which I did not find any other day bed that I could find at least for a reasonable price that had both storage and the trundle bed at the same time. So I thought that was really cool. The bedding and the pillows are all from PB Teen. And the, this is actually like a collection I kind of put together myself. So this is separate from this. This is a quilt that I'll just link all of them below because I don't even remember the names, but this is a quilt and these shams go with it. And then this is a duvet and these shams go with it. And then these three pillows were all purchased separately, so they weren't part of this collection, but I just thought the colors went really pretty together, and I couldn't pick. I just think they're all cute. This one says, there is beauty in everything. The middle one says, create happiness, and the last one says, follow your heart. So I liked them all, and I couldn't decide, so I got all three. Over here is my nightstand that was in my old bedroom. In my new room, I had room for two nightstands. I only had one of these and I found it at an antique shop and I looked online for a long time and could not find this nightstand. So I ended up getting new ones for my bedroom and then this one ended up working out perfectly in here because the cream is very similar to the cream from the Ikea day bed. So it just kind of worked out. I don't have the top two drawers done and I actually don't even have this one done, but I'll show you. Um, this is what the bottom drawer looks like and I just have my bioderma, top coat, base coat, just random things that I use a lot. Um, makeup products like everyday type products. I have a little trash can next to it. I've gotten a lot of questions about these flowers ever since I started doing videos with this in the background. These are actually from Ikea. They're faux flowers and the little vase that it's sitting in is also from Ikea. I think it's like the milk I feel like it looks like a little dairy container, like an old fashioned milk jug. I think that's kind of cute. And then I just picked colors that I thought were pretty and it just so happened to match the bedding, kind of. Pinecone, Pinecone, what are you doing down there, honey? He's like, I like it. For my actual desk that I sit at to apply my makeup, my vanity, I guess, I opted for this clear acrylic one because I wanted something that was just going to give like a light as air effect. And I'm actually going to get a ghost chair to go with it. This chair is the one that goes on my vanity there, like it goes under there. So that is where this chair is going to eventually live. It's from CB2 and the chair was custom made. Um, it's just like a vintage chair and then I had it custom upholstered. I might get it recovered. It went with my old bedroom. And then on top, I have my phone and a bottle of water because I started getting thirsty when I first started filming this video. This is just a little hat box from Ikea that props my mirror up. I need that because the mirror needs to be higher than table height for my camera because I can't be looking like too far down. So 
that's the only reason why that is there. And then over here, I have a cute little assortment of goodies that I use every day. I'm gonna sit down and show you this. So these are just kind of like products that I use every day when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm filming. The actual acrylic container is from um, CB2 as well, just like the desk. I have two of these little square pencil containers. In the first one, I have my most used eye and lip pencils and a couple mascaras. And then in the back, I have my most used brushes, aka the brushes I use today, which is why they are messy looking. I have MAC Brush Cleanser and my Yes to Grapefruit Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream that I put on in the mornings and my spot treatment by Clean and Clear, the Persa Gel Tint. I love this stuff if you have a spot that's coming up. I have my Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which is my holy grail, and my Kate Somerville Goat Milk, which is my morning moisturizer that I put on before makeup. I have a hand and cuticle cream by Caudalie and my hydrating toner from John Masters, the Lavender Hydrating Mist. I have a little sample of an eye cream and the nail polish that I have on right now, which is China Glaze Sunshine Pop. It's sunshine, like C-H-I-N-E, which is kind of interesting, but I think it's pretty and it's like bright and colorful for summer. I have a hair clip because I always like to clip my hair up when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings. I have my Puffs Ultra Soft and Strong Tissues, which I use to spot clean my brushes as I get ready in the mornings. I just find that these are more durable and so they don't break as easily with liquid if you're using a liquid brush cleanser. And I also just use these if I need it for anything else during the getting ready process. And then I also have some Q-tips. And underneath, I kind of have like my necessities. So I have hand sanitizer, duo lash glue, nail clippers, tweezers, um, eye pencil sharpener. This is like a brightening eye thing. As you guys can tell, I have a complex with my under eyes because they're my worst skin concern. So all of this just kind of lives back here. And when I'm doing my makeup or filming a video, I have two tissues down. I have the first one just folded in half and then I have another one that's folded in half like four times to make it thicker. And I just put it on the end. And I use this to put my dirty brushes like as I use them because I spot clean my brushes after use. So I have my MAC brush cleanser here. And I'll just kind of show you quickly. Now this is not deep cleaning. You still have to like actually clean your brushes with soap and water. I use Johnson's baby shampoo. But this is a good little spot treatment if you wanna use several different eyeshadow colors or if you just wanna quickly spot treat without having to rinse it. I just put a little bit on the brush. I just kind of let it soak normally. Like I'll do a couple brushes at once and I'll just line them up and let them soak like that. And then I swirl it. It's kind of hard to see. Swirl, swirl, swirl. It gets all that yucky color out. I don't know how this has turned into a brush cleaning video. Flip this over, this little folded bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. So as you can see, I've quickly gotten a lot of the product off of the brush and then it dries really quick and then you can use another color and you won't get residue from the first color on if you're doing different colors or you can use it for like a cream product and then a powder product or vice versa. Um, but I would definitely like deep clean it too. So this is actually gonna go in my deep cleaning pile. I just wanted to show you that. And then at the end of doing my makeup, um, if I have several brushes to do, I will actually just like go ahead and use this bottom tissue as well for you know more spot cleaning and then I just throw this whole thing away. Behind the makeup station over here, I just have a little pink bin from Bed Bath & Beyond that has all of my cords. I just kind of like to keep them in one little pile, but I don't really know what to do with all these cords because this one is my mirror cord and then I have two of my camera light cords. Although when these are down, it looks so much nicer because you don't have like the crazy lights everywhere and stuff. So yeah, and then over here I have my vanity, which you guys have seen. I actually have a makeup collection video that shows this vanity. I'm trying to like avoid the light so that it doesn't get super dark, which I will link below. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. Um, and actually this is not organized at all. It's quite embarrassing looking inside, so I'm not gonna show that today, but that will be its own video at some point coming soon because that is a project that I really, really wanna get into. I want to completely reorganize my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and move these lights out of the way because they are kind of everywhere as I'm trying to film this video. So underneath the vanity, I just have a couple of boxes. Um, these first two have like random samples and eyeshadows. I'll just like quickly show you. It's not very organized. Samples. And then 
eyeshadows. I know, seriously. Oh no, that's like nail polish. Wait. I let Jelly Bean help me organize this room, and this was an eyeshadow, like a pigment container. And now it has a bunch of nail polishes, so I'm not really sure she understood my version of how to organize, but whatever. This box is filled with all of my empty products, so all of the things for my next empties video, and I'm not going to show you guys what's in there because it's a surprise for that video. But I just thought it was prettier putting it in this box than putting it like in a bag somewhere. So it's an easy place to put things when I finish them up, finish them up. And then behind that, I have three boxes of my Puffs Ultra Soft and Strong. I also have the ones with lotion, like in my bathroom. These ones are good for purposes other than using them as a standard tissue. Then behind the door, this is the door leading out into the hall. I have this little guy, which is from homedecorators.com. And I used it, this is actually what I used to film on. I actually like had my little tripod behind this and my little light on top and I would just sit in a chair in front of it because I didn't have anywhere to have a vanity like to film on with the tripod behind it in my old bedroom. So now I'm just using it as office storage and it has my computer on top just for now because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. What you doing Pinecone? Pinecone, it's not that hard to get over a book in a makeup bag. Oh my goodness, you're such a big boy, look at you. A bunch of nail polish and like my little Hello Kitty makeup bag. That's out in the hallway. I'm sitting on my floor. Um, I need to like find homes for those things. I'll definitely do a more in-depth tour when more stuff gets done to this room and also an updated makeup collection will be coming soon. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup room reveal and Pinecone says goodbye everyone.